everybody so as you know my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot this is going to be a reading for all of our divine feminines all right so all of our DF Empress High Priestess energy only if you in any way at all identify as divine masculine hunty you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you okay let us go ahead and jump straight into the reading you all let us see what the messages are this spirit has here for our feminines on today. Please do keep in mind, guys, that these are general, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Let us see. What are the messages for our feminines? We have Libra, I balance, okay? This could be your energy, their energy, or just the energy of, like, the seventh house, okay? We have ninth house faith okay so when it comes to your spirituality what it is that you believe in how you believe etc your values your morals okay we have uh black moon lilith mystery okay so whatever your lilith placement is okay or wherever your lilith is on your chart is coming into play here okay so you're bringing some balance in this is like the shadow aspect of things the secret aspect of things desires pleasures all of that that you keep under wraps we have grand cross provoker okay so you're being provoked right now and we have yah destiny to follow your destiny or go in the direction of your north node you're being challenged by spirit right now all right so it's basically like are you up for the challenge and it's really funny because earlier i did a reading <laughs> that was like feminine is like bring it on challenges you know so we have taurus i have okay you have been preparing yourself i feel like you have some taurus placements um or your person does or this is just talking about the second house the things that you own your assets finances different things like that mm -hmm. all right let us see get some messages here from your person or the individual you're watching this reading for <laughs> Let us see. All right, what are the messages? Whoa, whoa. Okay, so there's clearly a tower that this person is going through. All right, they want you to let the past go. Um, don't stress over the past. Don't worry about the past. Just leave it as it is, okay? We have still listening. So if you sent this person any songs, anything like that, they're still listening to them. All right. At this moment, they feel like they're finding themselves. Like, again, what it is that they like, don't like as far as religion or what it is they believe in. All right. And they're really trying to let go of something from the past. And then um, they also feel like you need to let something go. When this person thinks about you, they get really, really emotional. They may even cry because we have tears here. But it says, I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. Okay. It was time I went within to find myself again i need to figure out what i want out of life i need space so this person is trying to figure out what is the right thing for them to do what is their destiny what is their purpose you know they feel really really provoked right now and this may not be something that you have caused but just something that spirit is causing okay so it says can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life our past hold us back from our future so there are some things that have occurred that maybe have caused this person or you to develop trust issues that now when it comes to you know being in a connection like this it's really hard to trust even though it feels really good it is hard to believe so no one compares though this person wants you to know no one compares to you that's how they feel a lot of you feel the same way no one compares to them you know you're my favorite okay so it says you're the person i want to call when something good or bad happens the first thought when i have news to share you're my person okay so like i said let's get some messages from your person this is your person that's how they feel too it says my dreams okay so this person has been dreaming about you some of you may be dreaming about them okay it says i've been dreaming about you in my dreams we are so free and in love wish i could stay there forever okay so some of you are dreaming about this person, uh, whether you realize it or not, because not everyone uh, remembers their dreams. So one of the things that's coming through as well is something about a dream journal. So make sure you guys are keeping a journal like underneath your pillow or on the nightstand or somewhere, you know, on your desk, you know, in the office right next to your room, wherever you have to do, just keep a dream journal somewhere so as soon as you wake up you can start writing these things down your dreams carry messages there's something here that spirit is like saying is a mystery to you or your person but you keep dreaming it over and over and over again for a reason or it keeps resurfacing for a reason okay so it's something along those lines i want to pull from this deck it's what i feel a draw to right now so 
we have guide and fears okay so someone is releasing their fears they're no longer going to allow their fears to control them that's what i just heard okay they feel a little bit bothered by how they have been handling something thus far you see secrets fell out over lilith so someone feels like there's some secrets here you know that maybe they've been keeping from them like how do i put this this person could feel like some of you have been keeping secrets from them like maybe you're more spiritually inclined than than you told them and that's something that maybe uh, how do i put this kind of rubs them wrong because a lot of them feel like they are in a karmic relationship, okay? It's not going to resonate with everybody, but a lot of them feel like they are in a karmic relationship, and you are aware of that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's almost like they're starting, the balance is starting to come in, so they're starting to remember. We understand that. Great. However, this person still feels like you have been aware of some things and kind of is wishing you would have gave them a heads up. However, some of you may have tried, there's this energy here, though, where it's just like, how could you possibly, I don't know what this person was expecting you to do. Like, if they were expecting you to be like, hey, yeah, you know, don't mess with this person. Don't deal with this person. This is a current relationship. Like, this person is full of regrets, okay, because they feel like they, but again, spirit is like, you have the freedom to choose. It's what they want this person to know. You have the freedom to choose. So right now where it says finding myself, they're going to take the necessary time to step back, really think about this process all of their emotions see what it is they would like to do but when it boils down to it everything points in your direction so you know again with the sadness and tears okay so we saw tears before we see burden of tears this person is really really emotional about this and a lot of them feel like you don't know um and some of them feel like you do know and you just choose not to be there in the way that they feel like they need you to be They feel like they don't want to fight with you, you but the, here's the thing you don't fight with them when they need space that's what you give them you give them space you get what i'm saying that's healthy if you realize that someone needs space to do what they need to do you're going to give them that you're going to give them the freedom you're going to give them the space right but it's also like they're upset with you for giving them that freedom and giving them that space you know it's like why didn't you tell me i did or why would I tell you, you know, so put yourself whichever side, but those are the two messages I got. I got, I did. And why would I tell you? So seven of Pentacles justice. Someone has been waiting on their divine counterpart to get out of a karmic situation. We have the eight of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Pentacles is putting in work towards something. Okay. This person could be working on themselves, building themselves up, bringing balance into their life. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But like I said, a lot of them are not single. So I mean, if you know your person is single, then maybe this isn't your reading or only take what resonates with you. But we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords is a conversation, clarity or truth. Someone has a hard time sharing their truth with you. And it could be because they may get emotional about it. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. This person wants you to, hmm, like they want things to smooth out in your relationship. They want things to get better. And they know the only way that that can happen is if they are honest with you. So there are some things they really want to get off their chest and share. However, this person, and this is the masculine because we have the emperor here in reverse. This person tries to maintain their emotional control by not sharing their emotions with you. Which is really not emotional control. You get what I'm saying? Because then eventually you're going to explode because now all of those emotions are going to bubble over. Where if you would have just come out and said, hey, this is how I'm feeling and I feel this way because X, Y, and Z then you could have discussed it and moved forward okay so it's something along those lines like somebody's really feeling away here because we have the three of pentacles okay and we have the ace of cups yeah this person is in their mind thinking okay i should have cooperated or i would like to cooperate <laughs> and i would like to make this offer okay again because any aces is, is a brand new opportunity okay something coming in that you either weren't expecting or something like I said, Eight of Pentacles, you've been working up to. Okay, so this relationship has been building up to this. All right, maybe you guys were never in this place if you haven't received the offer because the person never fully cooperated or you did receive the offer from them and as previously stated, they did not fully cooperate. So 
they could have made an offer to you, but it was like, were they really doing the things that they needed to do to maintain the position or whatever it was that they wanted in your life? You get what I'm saying? So, mm, let us see. <laughs> we have the high priestess coming out with the tower. Okay, these towers, man, left and right, left and right. All right, page of swords. Yeah, because someone is seeing something very, very clearly here. All right, and this is why they need the space. They need the space and the time to figure it out. Even though the high priestess is our inner knowing, our intuitive knowing, the ace of swords is our mental knowing. You get what I'm saying? Mental clarity, the aha moment, right? So, or the eureka moment. So this person is finally having this aha moment. However, their intuition has always told them, which is why this tower is going to happen. Because spirits like, listen, we've been telling you this the whole time. So you can't necessarily be mad at your divine counterpart for not having told you when we made you very much so aware. You just decided not to do that and do something else. It's okay. It's a personal choice, but don't be mad at the feminine. Yeah, so we have the hangman in reverse. This person is freeing themselves from whatever had them stuck. We have a queen of wands in reverse. Okay, now, queen of wands in reverse. There could have been some magic done here. Somebody could have did something to the feminine, okay? But the feminine is aware. Feminine, you protected yourself or you did something, okay, as to where somebody purposefully tried to stand in the way of a brand new beginning for you with the tennis words, the fool card, the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody did that intentionally, okay? So there's a karmic feminine here somewhere in this energy and they intervened intentionally when it comes to your connection. With the five of pentacles in reverse though, I feel like in any way where this person felt on the outside of your life or you felt on the outside of theirs, that's no longer going to be a case, the case. That's why we see Libra I balance. Okay, balance being restored within the connection. Two of Pentacles in reverse, exactly. In the challenge position where the communication was off. But once this person speaks their truth, okay, once they remember, because the Six of Cups is about memories, but with it being in reverse, the person didn't remember. That could have been due to spell work. Um, some sort of spell work to block their memories, okay, or to block their third eye. But the more this person awakens, the more they decalcify their pineal gland, the more they remember the connection that they have with their divine feminine. And this is why they're so upset. So again, it's not like they're upset with you per se, but they are upset. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. They would like to move on, move forward. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, yes, and the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. But a lot of them feel like, you know, do you still care for them the same way? Do you still love them the same way? Is that still an option? Or have they taken too long? A lot of them feel like they've taken way too long, you know, which is another reason they're not speaking their truth or speaking up. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups here, okay? And we have the, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. This magic was done to prevent this person from ever moving on or ever moving forward. So nowadays, everybody's doing readings. Everybody's watching readings, right? So you think somebody couldn't have got a reading on this and was like, let me see what this relationship is between my dude and this lady. And was like, oh, wow. Okay, this is an intense connection. Well, that's not going to happen. I want this dude and X, Y, and Z, whoop, whoop, whoop. So they start putting themselves in a certain position or doing certain things a certain way too fit that role fit that description and that's how it's been coming out you see this what's right underneath that i can't make this shit up this is a lover's card i didn't even know that was there lover's card in reverse which is twin flame separation and the eight of cups right underneath that so there was literally black magic done to keep the twins apart but the more that the twins awaken the more they remember so let us see mm. <sighs> yep, the magician in reverse. Okay, and this is what's coming out. This is what's being exposed. The seven of pentacles. Someone realizes like, okay, it was only a matter of time before all of this came out. Two of cups. This person is like, okay, yes, I remember. Okay, two of cups is love. It's soulmate connection. It's a soul contract. Okay. So the hang one in reverse. The two of wands in reverse. The choice or decision has already been made. Okay, and we have the sun card. Someone is happy. Someone sees what they need to see very clearly in eight of cups they emotionally withdraw from whoever this queen of wands person is in um reverse and they come towards you with the knight of swords speaking their truth with clarity okay five of wands in reverse they understand that and they appreciate that you don't fight with them like you don't fight with them you don't argue with them it's not to say you won't ever have any arguments or disagreements but there is a way to have a healthy argument 
two people can have differences in opinion or feeling or thought, you know what I mean? And still be able to converse in a way where it's respectful and nobody is coming crazy, you know what I mean? Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is why they want to make this offer to you. With the Empress being here and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this person views you as a wife, okay, period. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, this person thinks that very clearly, all right? Judgment, yeah, that's their discernment. When it comes to you, you are a wife. You are the person they want to spend their life with. You are a life partner. So, um, yeah, let us see. <clears throat> We already got a few signs. Yeah, we got love and we have union. This person is ready to come into union with their love. Okay. They feel like this love is very powerful no matter what. You guys are always drawn back to each other. Okay. 11-11. You might be seeing that time a lot. That angel number a lot. They may be seeing it a lot. We have Cupid. Okay. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. We have rekindle. Okay. Person wants to rekindle the spark. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. Labyrinth, okay? Even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth, okay? And we have surprise, okay? You may be about to be surprised. Let go, all right? Let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing, okay? Surprise. Underlining here is deeply. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships, all right? So I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and heaven.